March is here. The year is cruising along. Are we making the most of the opportunities we get every day? The present is now. Time to turn it over and get into faith. Firm belief in something for which there is no proof. Yet, when we have real faith, we feel absolutely positive about it. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, have we acknowledged and dealt with our fear by working the steps? March 30th, thought for the day. Before I met Alcoholics Anonymous, I was very unloving. From the time I went to school, I paid very little attention to my mother and father. I was on my own and didn't even bother to keep in touch with them. After I got married, I was very unappreciative of my spouse. Many a time, I would go out all by myself to have a good time. I paid too little attention to our children and didn't try to understand them or show them affection. My new friends were only drinking companions, not real friends. Have I gotten over loving nobody but myself? Meditation for the day. Be calm, be true, be quiet. Do not get emotionally upset by anything that happens around you. Feel a deep inner security in the goodness and purpose in the universe. Be true to your highest ideals. Do not let yourself slip back into the old ways of reacting. Stick to your spiritual guns. Be calm always. Do not talk back or defend yourself too much against accusation, whether false or true. Accept criticism as well as you accept praise. Only God can judge the real you. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may not be upset by the judgment of others. I pray that I may let God be the judge of the real me. It is hard to love or care about others when we are in survival mode. When we live in fear, we are only concerned with ourselves. How are we going to survive another day? There were fears of everything. We drank to deal with our fear. The booze was a medicine that numbed us to the world. We only thought we felt better. We didn't feel at all. We ask ourselves now, why would anyone want to have been with us? Our spouses, our friends. Some are loving and see in us what we cannot see in ourselves. They see our potential. Others are as sick as we were and understood us. Not how to fix us, of course, but they related to us in our sickness. Alcoholics Anonymous uses our illnesses' similarities to our advantage today. We understand the new prospects, alcoholism, and we let them know we share it. We let them know we used to feel the way they do and that they don't ever have to feel that way again. We have the solution that works for us and millions of others. The solution found in AA is a spiritual life that solves our problems. We learn to accept things that used to baffle us, that we would fight to the death over. Now we know that acceptance is spirituality because we humbly accept we have no control over others. We definitely can't control what others think of us, and it isn't any of our business anyhow. When we turn it all over to the care of our higher power, we have learned how to love others and how to let others love us. We accept all. Only God can judge us. Only God can judge others. All the rest are just opinions. Consider, have we acknowledged and dealt with our fear by working the steps? March 30th, thought for the day. Before I met Alcoholics Anonymous, I was very unloving. From the time I went to school, I paid very little attention to my mother and father. I was on my own and didn't even bother to keep in touch with them. After I got married, I was very unappreciative of my spouse. Many a time, I would go out all by myself to have a good time. 
I paid too little attention to our children and didn't try to understand them or show them affection. My new friends were only drinking companions, not real friends. Have I gotten over loving nobody but myself? Meditation for the day. Be calm, be true, be quiet. Do not get emotionally upset by anything that happens around you. Feel a deep inner security in the goodness and purpose in the universe. Be true to your highest ideals. Do not let yourself slip back into the old ways of reacting. Stick to your spiritual guns. Be calm always. Do not talk back or defend yourself too much against accusation, whether false or true. Accept criticism as well as you accept praise. Only God can judge the real you. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may not be upset by the judgment of others. I pray that I may let God be the judge of the real me. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.